Hello, Paolo from Creative Tools in Sweden. Um, I'm going to make a small video recording of my screen here um, to show you how to model um, a very simple pull handle for cabinet doors or drawers. Um, it's a very practical item for a household use. So the idea is here is to um, model it in Rhino for Mac first. Uh, and when the file is done, uh, I'm going to export it as an STL file and uh, use that file on a MakerBot Replicator 2 Desktop 3 printer and make it into a physical model um, in plastic, PLA plastic. So uh, the thing here is I'm going to try to do everything, <laughs> including the printing, in under 30 minutes. So let's get going. Uh, I made a very simple drawing here. We can see the handle uh, as a simple shape and I, I'm going to model it. I'm going to start by using a simple rectangle. So I'm going to create a rectangle from the center, uh, punch in 95 millimeters and 30, which gives me the rough outline of uh, the um, handle. Uh, once that is done, I'm, I'm going to explode the, um, the rectangle, remove the bottom line, and I'm going to create a simple line, short line here from the left. I'm going to just check it double check it 16 millimeters so I'm gonna make it 16 millimeters long and place it there and while I'm at it I'm just going to from here to go straight up or, or uh, slanted uh, up um, and all the way through there um, next thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is is to um, create a, um, a center line and I'm going to lower this line um, six millimeters so I'm gonna just um, use the move command click here and the punch in six millimeters which takes it down uh, the same distance uh, once this is done I'm going to uh, trim some parts off which I don't need so I'm going to select them the, the lines use the trim command and remove these segments and also make it into half a line I remember I forgot to choose this one so I'm gonna redo that um, and re remove them correctly. There we have it. So I can get rid of the side lines and here the um, <coughs> the center line. So this is a basic S shape. Um, I'm going to join the command, join the lines, and use a command called offset curve um, and offset the curve six millimeters, um, which gives me uh, the thickness, which is supposed to be this part. Um, then I'm going to turn on the points, control points, and move this edge a little bit to the right to make it slant. Uh, I'm going to close the points, turn them off, and uh, uh, separate all the lines so I can remove this edge here. So this is uh, basically, um, so far, half of the handle. So I'm going to um, also create a center line here where the hole for the um, screws will end up, so there's supposed to be a hole there. Um, that's it. Uh, I want to make things uh, round, nice and round, so I'm going to um, use the fillet curve repeat command and use three millimeters there between these and these to make them nice and round, and maybe two millimeters on the other two. Uh, and also this one, maybe. There we have it. Good. Um, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to mirror the, the, the whole contraption. So I'm going to choose everything here, uh, select everything but the uh, center line for the hole, and use the mirror command, which can be found here, to um, from the center all the way up. Here we have it. This is roughly the 2D shape of the uh, pull handle. So I'm going to join everything together and um, make it into three three models. Uh, and I'm going to leave the top view and go into my perspective view. Uh, and here you can see it. I'm going to select everything but the center line and use a command called extrude. So I'm going to go to extrude and extrude is straight. And this extrude command has uh, a couple of features. I'm going to use the both sides so I can extrude it symmetrically up and down and I'm not going to forget to um, make it into a solid. The whole um, thing should be 12 millimeters, um, roughly half an inch uh, thick, so I'm going to just write in 12. I'm sorry, uh, I'm going to do it again. 
and uh, what I really need is half of that, so I'm going to choose uh, six millimeters. The center line, I don't need it more, just remove it, and here we have it. A uh, very simple um, pull handle. Uh, a couple of things to do still is to um, make it uh, nice and round, so there's something called a um, um, fillet, uh, and I'm going to make it uh, maybe one millimeter give this a one millimeter fillet around the sharp edges. So that's the top part, and make us do the same, same thing for the um, repeat command, and uh, for the bottom part. Here we have it, it's almost done. The last thing I need to do here is to actually create the holes for the, um, for the um, uh, screws. So I'm gonna use a simple cylinder, and the cylinder, cylinder, cylinder command has um, a nice feature, it's called uh, a round curve, so I um, can actually draw a, cir a cylinder any, um, in any place just by uh, pointing at um, a, a, a line. So this is why I made it before. I'm going to start here, I'm going to give it a diameter of 3.5 millimeters, 3.5 millimeters there, and let it, get, let it go all the way through. Once this is done, I'm going to mirror the, the um, cylinder. And it's sa the same command, it's called mirror. I'm going to click somewhere in the middle of, of, of the drawing and duplicate the cylinder. Uh, to remove uh, the, to, to make uh, two holes, I just need to use a simple Boolean difference command and uh, choose first the handle itself and then uh, I, I select individually the, um, the, the, uh, the cylinders and there we have it two holes. I'm gonna make the top, the entrance of the holes nice and round by using a, uh, a radius fillet of one millimeter and that's gonna happen with both holes. Here we have it. This is this is all we need to make a simple um, a simple uh, um, pull handle for doors. Nice and smooth. Uh, what I'm going to do in here, I'm actually going to duplicate it in, still in my scene into an STL file or a mesh. Uh, and for this you have the mesh command, and it's very easy to use. You simply, um, uh, you simply move the slider to get a nice uh, resolution. Um, it doesn't have to be so much for a simple uh, um, handle. And you've got all, also advanced com uh, settings if you want to do that. So I'm just going to press OK. and. Um, select the uh, mesh file, move it away, so here we have it. This is the file we're going to, going to print. So I'm going to select this one, press file, export selected, and put it on, on my hard drive as a SDL file. Export. Here we have it. Next thing is to go into MakeAware and um, print it. Here I just uh, opened uh, MakeAware, uh, the latest version, uh, which is a software who, which um, prepares files and prints to the Replicator 3D printer. I'm just going to drag and drop my STL file, and uh, it's going to ask me to um, place it level on the bed, which is I say yes to. And here you have it. This is the pull handle. And uh, my, my, my Replicator 2 is not connected to my computer now, but I can always create an, uh, a separate file which I then copy to an SD card, a standard SD card, uh, and from that in the 3D printer I can um, make the 3D print. So I'm going to use the, um, the standard um, um, standard resolution or quality control, uh, which in practical terms means 10% infill, 2 perimeters or shells, and uh, 0.2 millimeters. Um, layer thickness. So I'm just going to export that. And it's going to ask me to export. I'm going to put it to my desktop and uh, press save. And uh, it's going to cre create a file. And this file, as I mentioned, uh, just copy to an SD card, place it into, into the MakerBot Replicator 3D printer um, and print. Start printing. So uh, here we are. This is the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer. Uh, it's ready to print. Uh, I've loaded it with, with blue PLA plastic and now I'm inserting the SD card. So I'm choosing here from the build from SD menu the uh, file which I recently created from MakeAware. So it's gonna 
go all the way to the top. It's going to find its z zero position for the z-axis. And then it's going to um, do a first run just to make sure the print head uh, will, um, is all ready to go. It's reaching its final temperature there. 222, almost there. And about now, it's ready to print. There we are. It's making the first, just a simple straight line, just to get things going, the plastic flowing. And now it's gonna print the base profile of the um, pool handle. Here we are. Let's print.
All right, it's done. And it says here 21 minutes. That's what it took to print a door handle. Uh, let's see, let's get it out and um, remove it from a platform, which is quite easy. Um, the platform is removable. Um, the PLA plastic part, let me just put it here so you can see it better. It's, uh, it sticks quite nicely to the acrylic, so it is, I prefer not to use the uh, blue painter's tape. It's easier to print directly onto the acrylic. And uh, what you do is, is to um, either you use a, um, a, um, some kind of tool, a sharp tool, to just get it under the, uh, the um, model and just tap it with something simple. And then you can just break it away. There we have it. A fully functioning door handle or pull handle.